Ansonia Clock Company was another one of the Connecticut giants. Uh, there's actually a town in Connecticut called Ansonia. If you're driving down to New York from my area, you'll pass by it. Uh, a fellow named Anson Phelps was a major uh, businessman in uh, the mid-1800s in Connecticut. He had brass mills, and he was looking for more ways to use all the brass that he was producing and thought that clock movements was a good idea, and it turned out it was. A lot of, uh, a lot of beautiful Ansonia clocks were made. He was particularly known... Uh, for the quality of their cases and the intricacy of their cases. We'll talk about china clocks, statue clocks, uh, all of the uh, fancier case styles later on, but Ansonia was very involved in making them. They were in Ansonia, Connecticut until, again, fire, uh, and they needed to relocate their factory, and they moved to uh, Brooklyn, New York, where the factory building that they built still exists, but it's also a way of dating earlier rather than later uh, Ansonia clocks because the later ones, again, after about the 18, late 1870s, say Ansonia Clock Company in New York inside rather than the earlier ones that say actually Ansonia. And we have our Tranduli book here, the long and interesting history, as well as, again, very thick, many, many pages of the, uh, of the styles, uh, prices, uh, dimensions, uh, great line drawings of what you can expect to uh, to look for and own if you decide